What is going on guys? It's your boy Pikum Fun Fan 97 and I'll be showing you guys how to create that color splash effect in Adobe Photoshop CS6. And it's really easy to do. Just follow the steps that I'll be showing you guys within this video. Comment below if you have any suggestions regarding this video. Subscribe if you haven't because I make videos just like this on my channel. And please, please share this video so other people can have access to this video and you know so they can apply this effect to their photos as well. So by beginning, um, pretty much this is what uh, the finished product will look like. Uh, so I pretty much have a red uh, post office and the rest of the image is grayed out. And that's called a color splash effect. To do that's very simple. Let me go ahead and start over. So when you first start off, um, you'll probably have yours like this. It's gonna be locked or it's gonna be named background. All you gotta do is just double click this uh, and then it's to say it's been locked and you have to create a new layer. So it's just click okay. In this case, I already did that, so I just locked it and I'm gonna unlock it again. So once you have done that, you wanna create a duplicate of this image. So first go and create a new layer, just drag it right here or press Control J for the shortcut on Windows or Command J if you're on Mac. Then once you have done that, make sure you have the layer zero copy selected and go to image adjustments, hue and saturation and bring the saturation all the way down to negative 100. So the background is at grayed out. Then click OK. Once you have done that, you want to create a layer mask. To do that, go to layer, go to layer mask and select reveal all. If you select hide all when you're painting on, it's going to hide it and it's not actually going to reveal the color that is this uh, layer right here. So make sure that you have reveal all. Once you have done that, uh, by going to your brushes panel right here, um, you can also change the size right here and increasing the hardness. I would keep it around in between 20 to 50 and the size depending how big the image uh, this doesn't matter so once you have done that um, by pressing X this is the shortcut you will notice right here that every time I press X this changes they just switch uh, X um, or in this case black right here um, this will reveal the color as you can see this will reveal everything Okay, now if we invert it or do it the opposite, so we're switching the colors, white will um, pretty much hide that color. So it will kind of remove it pretty much. So black paints in, white takes it off. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue. So I'll have uh, my black one uh, enable the background, the black uh, in color. Um, and then we wanna go ahead and paint over this, um, uh, we wanna go ahead and paint over this post office. Um, mailbox here and uh, you, you got you guys want to spend time uh, doing this because the more time you take the better results um, that you accumulate so uh, in this case I'm doing this fast uh, because of this video of course so I'm not gonna take too long um, so pretty much whoops if you if you mess up as you can see I already did uh, it pretty much painted the wood Again, by pressing X is the shortcut, or you can just click this arrow right here, and that will swatch, switch the color. Um, so now it's gonna be white, and this will remove it. See how it's removing the color? So I'm gonna remove it just like that, and then I'm gonna go back by pressing the shortcut, and then I just continue to paint in the image. So this works for any images, of course. Just keep in mind that um, whatever you do, do not, uh, erase the image or else you kind of mess it up too. So make sure you're always painting on the layer mask we have created right here. And it should be a white uh, background with the things that you're painting. So, uh, and the top layer should be grayed out because you're revealing the color that is in the bottom layer, which should be your color and should be, um, you know, it, should, it shouldn't be grayed out. Because if it's grayed out, it's gonna look really weird and it won't work. So just make sure that everything works as planned and you've seen this whole video. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of finish in throughly because I don't want to take too long according to this video because I don't want to take too long. I don't want to spend and waste your time. So I think this looks great. So now if we go back by pressing Command-0, it will zoom in. You may want to kind of decrease the brush to get into small, smaller places like right here. So just keep that in mind. You might want to have to decrease the size of your brush right there. And pretty much you will res uh, end up with a beautiful looking color splash image. This is the best 
uh, method of using or doing a color splash effect in Adobe Photoshop CS6 because there is other uh, ways to do it. Some people use the quick selection tool. They'll quickly, you know, select it like this, uh, actually like this, and then they'll just switch the colors. It, really, that's not the professional way of doing it. it. It's more precise if you do it the way I showed you using the brush tool, which is my preferred method. You can use any method you'd like, but in this case, this method works the best. So if this helped you in any way, please, please leave a rating below, comment if this helped you, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.